The bottom line is, where do they fit in terms of lifestyle? You can't PCSK9, you can't medicate, and you can't supplement your way out of a bad lifestyle. Joe Isaacs is one of our viewers. He just saw an article on in the NPJ Aging Mechanism of Disease, Aging and Mechanism of Disease. It's a, an article which looked at PCSK9s in combinations with, statin mono, uh, with statins versus statin monotherapy. It prevented, um, it decreased the deposition of plaque. In fact, how much did it do that? Well, I'm going to go straight to the bottom line here. Annual coronary artery calcium score progression was 29.7% by statin monotherapy and 14.3% following the addition of the PCSK9 inhibitor to statin therapy. So Joe's question, and he's asking in a couple of formats, uh, one I think on comments and another one in a question on the um, YouTube live event we did tonight. He said, why didn't I take PCSK9s? Well, first of all, my LDL number is like, what, 70? It's not that bad. It's not a, why would I want to decrease it further? It's clearly not causing my risk. And I've got, actually, most of my patients are, you know, 70 to 130. I think Joe would counter that, yeah, but still, you do get some decrease in plaque deposition and maybe even events when you continue to add that. Well, that may be true. I mean, we're, uh, the research is not at all clear on that yet. But here's another question. At what cost? I mean, this is, it's easy to, to criticize insurance companies when they don't want to pay a bill. But here, here's the thing. My, um, I don't take insurance. Uh, the vast majority of my patients, well, a lot of my, my patients will often do have insurance. And again, for the FH patients, I'm able to get PCSK9s. I haven't had a patient that doesn't have FH that's got a, an LDL of 100 ask me for a PCSK9. I don't think I would uh, deny them. But again, you see where I'm going with this discussion? The PCSK9s were, what, again, $13,000 up until October of 2018. Amgen then cuts the price by 60%. It's still six, six to, you know, five to $7,000 a year. And even if it did cut deposition from, um, uh, from 30% to 17% or even 14%, you still got to ask the question, Compared to what? Here's what the insurance company will ask you routinely if you're like me and you're prescribing this for a patient. What have you done in terms of statins already? What kind of result did you get with those statins? Because you can usually get these uh, LDL levels down way far. And that's assuming that that's not even, that that's clearly a good thing. And I think most of us these days see that as a debatable point it's not all that good to get extremely low LDL levels. It may decrease some events, but it may come at the cost of other things. So again, whether you're an insurance company or a patient paying for a medication out of, of, out of your pocket, you got to ask, you got to weigh risks and cost risks and benefits. One thing, the biggest thing, the elephant in the room, that we haven't discussed yet is lifestyle. You know, even though PCSK9s are very effective LDL inhibitors, the bottom line is where do they fit in terms of lifestyle? You can't PCSK9, you can't medicate, and you can't supplement your way out of a bad lifestyle. So Joe, I, uh, thanks for raising the question. It was a really good question. I'm not implying that you're not using the other medications. I'm not implying that you don't have the, you haven't done what you need to do in terms of lifestyle. It sounds like I'm wrapping up. I got to make one more point. Azetamide, you know, there have been studies already done which would indicate that 
you really should add azetamide as well. So there's a piece of research. It indicates you get some decrease in plaque. But let's think about it. Let's approach this logically and see what the costs and benefits are for each of the countermeasures that we have. Thanks again for your interest. Would you like to get your CIMT and labs all coordinated for you and done at one time over a two-day period? Check out our event. It's going to be in Louisville, November 8th and 9th.